Model A ignition circuit. I've explained it over and over again to our club members, and, and I've uh, put it in a video on uh, how to troubleshoot a Model A, and I've mentioned it several other places, and I've written papers on it. Uh, but uh, apparently I did a lousy job because uh, based on the questions my club members ask me when we uh, have difficulty with a car, it's clear to me that they really don't understand the circuit, and it's, uh, it's pretty simple. It uh, consists really of just a battery for the power source, uh, the coil, which you can think of that as a light bulb. It's just a bunch of coils around a core. So the wire goes into the coil, the wire comes out of the coil, uh, and then uh, onto the ignition switch, from the ignition switch back down to the distributor, and it stays isolated this whole time. There's no shorts, there can't be any shorts, and it has to work its way through the distributor, through our famous little black wire, up to the terminal on the points. And the thing that grounds this circuit is just the points. If anything else grounds it, you're not gonna run. So uh, uh, I'm going to explain it. I'll show some uh, uh, shots on the car, and I hope this, this helps uh, a few people. We have our battery, uh, positive ground. The wire goes up to the post on the starter motor. Then it goes up to the coil, goes into the coil and out of the coil, and that's a continuous wire wrapped around a core. So from the post, through the coil, up to the ignition switch. This is behind your uh, instrument panel. And then that big armored cable, uh, some are bigger than others, so you got the big one and the small one, screws into the distributor. And here's what happens inside the distributor. This uh, center wire contacts this little bracket underneath the lower plate, and that bracket is isolated. It's not touching ground anywhere. Then that attaches to our little famous little black wire, and that gives us trouble uh, quite often. And that goes up and attaches uh, above the upper plate. This is the movable plate when you move your spark lever. And that attaches to the points. And the points, the point arm is isolated. It's not touching ground anywhere. When it, the points touch the uh, other contact, that contact is grounded, and that energizes the coil and then when the points open the coil discharges and fires a shot of high voltage to the spark plug. I've got an old distributor here. I will take it apart, take that cam screw out. Notice that's got a hole in it. That's so you can lube that upper bearing. Anyway, take the cam off. Take Take that guy off. Now, where we start, where your where your cable uh, from the ignition switch comes in, and that center uh, uh, wire at the end of it touches that conical shaped piece of uh, metal, uh, that conical shape in that bracket, and that bracket is completely isolated from ground doesn't touch ground anywhere. It also comes over here and uh, attaches to uh, one side of the con condenser, the old original style. But that, uh, that little bracket uh, comes up through the lower plate. And it doesn't touch the lower plate. It comes close, but it comes up. Then it goes to our little black wire. And our little black wire has got to be able to turn with the uh, upper plate, but it's totally insulated too. Comes up here, it doesn't touch any ground, and eventually comes over and touches the uh, movable arm on the points. So from the movable arm and all the way back to your coil, nothing is grounded. If when the circuit gets grounded, it's the points close that grounds it, that energizes a coil, puts plus and minus to both sides of the coil. And when that opens, the coil uh, uh, field collapses and it uh, shoots a high voltage shot to the spark plugs. 
Now here's an old uh, plate. This is the original points, original design. And you can see this is a Bakelite material riveted to the plate. So there's no communication there electrically. And this is where the post of the, the uh, points come in. And that attaches to the Bakelite. So that doesn't ground. And then this post is completely isolated. It attaches to the Bakelite and there's clearance here. So uh, good design, no, uh, no shorts. Now looking at the modern plate, or the condenser on board here, uh, this is different design. That, uh, the base of the points is grounded right there. So they don't use the bake light anywhere. They um, isolate the arm, making it all plastic so it doesn't touch. And then they have to isolate this connection uh, to the condenser and to the points and to the black wire. So that's got to all be by itself and none of that can touch ground. And I've had trouble in that area and it's hard to find. It's one of the little uh, plastic washers or spacers in there gets in the wrong position and you get a short across here. Uh, it's, it's hard to find. But this little black wire, that's a, that's a culprit quite often. Uh, it has to work its way up through this opening here and again, not touch anything that's gonna gonna rub the insulation off, and it's gotta be flexible. And there are other designs to get away from the wire, but they've got their kind of their problems also. So the power goes from the post on the starter up to the coil. Up to the coil. And the coil is just a wire around around a core, and it comes out on the other side. And so you can touch a light to both sides, and they both light up, as long as the key's off. So from the far side of the coil, it then goes up to the ignition switch, and then comes back down to this cable. This is a smaller one that some of you may have, the big one. And this screws in to the distributor, side of the distributor. So none of that can be grounded. This little red wire can't be grounded. Nothing up at the ignition switch can be grounded. And it comes back down. This guy can't be grounded and it can't be grounded inside the distributor. We want the points to do the grounding of the far side of the coil. That energizes it. Then when the points open, the coil fires and the distributor gets you to the right plug. So, in review, we've got a pretty simple circuit here. We've got the starter with the post. It goes to the coil and back out of the coil. And the coil is uh, just a series of windings around a coil. Then to the uh, ignition switch, then to the distributor, and through the distributor to the points. And the points uh, make contact and that grounds this whole circuit and that puts ground to this this side of the coil and it's uh, hot on this side so the coil is energized and then there is a condenser in the system it it doesn't uh, bother the circuit it ties anywhere it ties in anywhere from the coil to the uh, distributor somewhere in that line and then the other side is grounded but this ground does not ground the circuit. That's just a function of the condenser. Pretty simple uh, circuit, really. Well, for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, this is a clear distributor cap. And there the rotor is going around, causing a little spark at each uh, post as it passes. You can hardly see it. And uh, the distributor rotor turns half the speed of the engine crankshaft. So, it goes pretty fast, uh, I'll rev it up.